back to Casually Crafted. My name is Ashley and this is Crafty Chat number 37. Um, so today is just going to be an acquisition video. Um, so I bought some yarn. So I apologize if you have already gotten sick of everybody's like Hobby Lobby clearance videos because um, that's kind of what this is. Um, there's a, a little bit of Michaels and a little bit of Hobby Lobby. Um, so for those of you who know, I don't live anywhere near either of those stores, but um, I happen to be traveling to the Denver area to take a plane to my friend's wedding in Jamaica. So <clears throat> what happened was uh, a few days before I was going to be there, I had a $5 voucher from Michael's and I was kind of going back and forth on whether I wanted to use it or not. I was like, well, I might as well use it. Um, this was before I started seeing videos of the Michaels clearance that was happening. Um, so I just did an online order um, to have my mom go pick up and she had a voucher too to use. Um, and I think they just gave them to us in our email because neither of us spend enough money there to actually earn the vouchers, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, so I sent her over there. She picked up some yarn. And it was like that day that she picked it up that I started seeing um, like Rose Likes Crochet did a video of her Michaels stuff. I don't know if it was hers that I saw first or if it was just people's pictures on her Facebook group and the Bag O'Day Facebook group of Michaels clearance. And I was like, hey mom, if you haven't already gone, you should go look and see what they have for clearance. She's like, oh sorry, I already picked it up. It's like, okay, fine. Um, so first I'll show you what I had her pick up for me. Okay, there it is. Um, and then we'll go from there. So this wasn't clearance, um, but I do, I want to make some hats um, for the fall. And I don't have a lot of like um, five weight yarns and I want to try some hats and five weight yarns. So um, these are all Lion Brand Scarfy. And I think they were on sale. And then um, with the $5 off, um, they came up to $7.74 a piece. Um, so which isn't too bad. I think they're like 10 or 12 bucks at my Joann's. Um, so the colors I got, sorry, I have like stuff all around. Um, this one is called Cream Teal. Um, I was going for neutrals mostly, but I love teal, so that one might be more for me. <laughs> um, and then this one is Cream Black. And this one is cream taupe, so lots of cream. And then this other one is forest and black. And our local high school is, their colors are like green and black. Um, so that's why I kind of picked this color. Um, yeah, so that's what I got that wasn't on clearance. And that was going to be the extent of my yarn buying for this trip. Like I hadn't planned to go looking for more um but <laughs> i started seeing all those people's posts and videos and um the michaels by my mom's house hardly ever gets very much of all like the new seasonal yarns and so they sell out pretty quick so i was pretty confident that i wasn't gonna find anything but i still wanted to go check it out so we get there and um so we drove to Denver on a Tuesday and our flight wasn't until um, Wednesday night at like midnight. So I knew I had time to go check it out. So we did that. Um, we get there and there's this whole center display thing of just a bunch of yarn. And I was none of it was labeled at all. Like it didn't have any like price signs, like regular price, sale price, anything. And I was recognizing some of the of the brands and yarns that other people had posted as being clearance and so I was grabbing like three or four at a time and then going over to the price checker to see what was on sale so most of it was on clearance in that center aisle there was some Renat blanket and then like lion brand skein tones that was in that area that weren't clearance um so yeah so then I just started <laughs> buying stuff um so I ended up with two big bags of yarn 
that I was going to put in my mom's garage and then my husband came out as we were getting out of the car and saw it all. So, um, oh well. So I'm going to show you what I got. And another thing is they sent me another $5 voucher in my email and my app still had the first one that I had used, but it was still there. So I actually, they let me use both. So I actually got $10 off of my total purchase. Um, and so um, on the receipt, it shows you like, it breaks up that $5 or the $10 into each tiny little thing you bought. So instead of it being like $3, it would be like two forty six or something like that. So, um, so I got some pretty good deals. Um, my husband had this idea that I should um, make like a document of all the yarns that I'm getting and how much I'm paying for it and stuff so that if I do sell some things, for one, it helps me know how much to price things at and then also to help me keep track of what I've earned. Um, so instead of just basing everything on like the sale, the normal price, which you can do for like what you're going to price your item at, but that doesn't help you know how much you earned back, if that makes sense. So I took pictures of everything and put it on my computer, which is over here, so that I don't have to like search through my receipt to find what I paid for everything. Um, so yeah, so I tried to be pretty deliberate with what I got. Um, like plans for things um, because I don't have a lot of room for any of this um, so I don't know so I will kind of explain like what my thoughts are for that yarn that I got and why I got it um, the first thing I'm going to show it's not the first thing I put in my cart but it's the Karen anniversary cake and these are normally 35 and I got it for 10 um, and then, hang on, yeah, yeah, so I got it for 10, and this is the color, scuba slash, and I only had one of like three different colors, so I only got this one, it says it's a bulky six, I have no idea what I'm going to make with this one, honestly, um, it could be a good blanket. I don't know. Can you make a whole blanket out of this? It is like a thousand yards, so maybe. Um, that's the one thing I got that I didn't really know for sure what I want to make with it. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I kind of just wanted to try it because I was never going to spend 35 bucks on that. So. Um, so one thing I got was this... Um, and these are still in the bag, so I, I took pictures of everything and then put them back in the bags. So they're not, like, super organized right now. I need to find places for them all. Um, but I got this Bernat Ogo. And the reason I got these is because I want to make more um, of those reusable water balloons. Um, I have a set that we keep and we, like, take it to my, grandma, to my mom's house and they play in the pool and stuff with them. Um... And then my mom actually bought two of these also because she wants me to make her some sets. Um, and I just haven't had luck finding like fun bright colors of the regular Bernats. Um, I feel like there's just a lot of um, like the dark reds and the grays and things like that that I don't feel like would make fun water balloons. So I thought this was kind of watery-ish, the different colors of blue. Um, so we'll see how that works out. Um, these were... I believe three dollars each. Yes, they were three. Um, so I just got one of these, and then my mom got two of them. Um, this one is a Eco Cozy Watercolors by Loops and Threads, and it says it's a bulky, super bulky six. I don't know. I feel like that's more like a five. Um. So I got two of these in the color Forest Mushroom, and I'd probably use these to make a hat, and these were $2 each. Um, this one, oops. I don't love yarn with the halo, um, but this is the um, Karen Crystal Cakes, 
and it's the color Shea Butter. I think this is the only color they had. Um, I might try to make some hats out of these. I bought three of them because they were only $2 each, and I figured for the yardage, um, 634 yards, that was pretty good. So that's why I got three of those at $2 each. Um, gonna open the other bag real quick. So everything was either three or two or one besides the anniversary cake. Alright, this is the Burnett Forever Fleece Liner. Um, this one is a bulky five. And this one's the color Fruit Salad. And I got two of those. And I got also this color, which is Petunia, to go together. And I thought these would make a fun baby blanket. Um, so I showed that I started making a baby blanket for a friend who's having a girl. And for some reason I didn't have a lot of girl colors in my stash. I had a lot of boy colors. So this time I tried to do some girl colors and not boy colors or some neutrals. Um, so hopefully, and actually what was nice is I noticed that the variegated was the same number of yards as the solids. A lot of times they're less. Um, but yeah, so I got three of those, and those were, I think those were three dollars each. Yeah, those were three dollars each. <clears throat> okay, the next ones Ugh. were the Loops and Threads Baby Delight, and these are a lightweight three, and these were three dollars each. So I got two, I got four different colors, but like two that go together. Um, this is the color Cuddly. It's kind of just pastel, like yellow and green and purple and pink. And then this color Pastel Lilac oops, to go with. It's a little darker. This purple is a little darker than the purple in that, but I thought they could still go together. And then the other two I got to go together oh, is this color Rocking Horse and Apricot. So I thought that one was a, a little more gender neutral. The Apricot might make it a little more girly. I don't know. But I got those. And those were, did I say, those were $3 each. And then almost done with my goals, guys. Okay, this one is uh, the Lion Brand Ice Cream Roving, and I just thought those colors were pretty. Um, it's called Chuckles. It's like an aqua and teal and pink. And I got two of those. How much were these? These were three dollars each, also. So they are only. I'm worried that I should have got another one. They're 437 yards, so I'm not sure. I'd get a whole baby blanket out of those two together. Um, it might have to be a lacier stitch on that one if I did. And then I was also like, where's all the $1 clearance? Because I knew there was some. And those were still in the aisles. So as I'm walking down the actual yarn aisles, um, there was all these spots that said $1 clearance. So those must have been marked before. Um, as I was looking at all these, the lady was coming over and starting to mark everything down, even though I'd already figured out the prices for everything. So I think the dollar clearances had already been marked down for at least a few days because they were almost empty. There was almost nothing left that was a dollar in the aisle. Um, I did get a few, just a tiny bit. Um, so I got two of the Loops and Threads Soft and Shiny. Um, one is Cobalt, and one is Robin's Egg, and those will just go in my stash as solid colors to use for towel toppers or whatever needs a solid color. Um, and then the other one I got was the Loops and Threads Charisma, and this is Black Tweed, and I got three of those. So all of those were a dollar each. Which, with the $5 vouchers, they ended up being $0.81 cents each. 
Okay, so that is all my Michaels. Um, obviously, that was plenty of yarn for me because I actually don't need any yarn. <laughs> um, so, but as we were on our trip, um, you know, I'd have a few minutes here and there to just like scroll through Facebook. And I was seeing everybody post their Hobby Lobby clearance. And I was like, oh man. And I needed to go to Hobby Lobby because I had to, I needed to get a gift card for something. And so our, we got back into the country Monday night late. Like we got back to my parents' house at one in the morning. And then we got up Tuesday morning and we were going to drive home that day. Um, so I made a point to go over to get my gift card. And my husband went with me and had my grandma watch the girls, or my mom watch the girls, their grandma. Um, and he's like, of course, we have to go look up the yarn aisle. I'm like, yeah, if, if there's going to be clearance, like I wasn't sure if they had started or not. I didn't call ahead of time. Um, it's like, I can't just not go. I can't just go and not even look at the yarn. Like, that would be silly. So uh, we went over there and there wasn't like a ton marked down. Um, there was still plenty, mostly to look through. Um, I didn't find any, like, a lot of cotton that I was hoping to find. And now I'm wondering if they just weren't done marking things down. Because um, as we were checking out, there was, like, a manager lady up there saying that they had started on Friday. Now, this was a Tuesday that we went, Tuesday morning. Um, they had started on Friday. And she said something about, like, having a whole aisle full of... Of clearance and I was like well I definitely didn't see a whole aisle full of clearance um, so maybe they still they weren't done but that's okay I obviously wasn't gonna go back the next day we drove home by then so um, I will show you I have to go get it I will show you what I got from Hobby Lobby and again um, I didn't do a super good job of telling you what I would do with all those things mostly baby blankets for the Michael stuff um, and then some hats. Um, but yeah, so I will show you and tell you why I got certain things from Hobby Lobby. So I'll be right back. Okay, so for whatever reason, um, I have like fall on the brain, I guess, for like the next things I want to make. Um, so last year my mom got, I had my mom go to Hobby Lobby when there was a clearance sale. Um, and like she took pictures of everything for me and sent me stuff. And I bought a lot of things that I would like to make like tops out of and I made sure I got like five or six balls of each color so that I could do that with. Um, and have I made any tops? No, I have not. So I didn't want to go that route. I, w I was thinking hats and then for some reason pumpkins, like little amigurumi type pumpkins. Um, so most of these things will probably end up being those. Um, yeah, I'll just show you what I got. So, I didn't buy lots of each thing. I got like one or two skeins of each thing. Because mostly because I'm trying to be good after all that Michaels I just got. Like two huge bags. So this is just two small bags. <laughs> um, I also bought three towels. Um, and some scrubby yarn that wasn't on sale. But I think it's the colors that I didn't get last time I was there. I haven't checked. So hopefully I got the right colors. Um. Anyway, so this one is Yarn Be Soft and Sleek, and um, this one is the color, doo -doo -doo, I don't know, Black Gray Multi, and that one was 99 cents each, and those will probably be a hat. And the next one was the Yarn B Katarina. And the color Regal Rose. I got two of those. Just so you can see the colors a little bit better. And these were 99 cents each also. <clears throat> and these say they're a lightweight three. I've never worked with it, so I don't know. Um, I was thinking maybe a hat. I don't, but I don't know for sure. Um, I mostly got it because it was purple and my mom likes purple. So I might end up making something for her eventually. Who knows? Um, <clears throat> these next two are both this Yarn Bee Fireplace Comfort 
and I got two different colors. These are acrylic and wool, and they're medium four. Normally eight ninety nine, but they are two twenty four. So this one is the color Hazy Horizon, and then this one it's kind of falling apart a little bit. Is the color Ivy Grown? Got like dark greens and stuff. So those will probably be hats. And then this was the only, um, I love this cotton that I could find. Um, it's the Sparkle. And these were 94 cents. And this is Aqua Sparkle. So I got two of those. They did have one pink, but I didn't want to buy just one skein. I probably could have res rescued it, but oh well. <clears throat> And the rest of these are mostly like different cottons, I think. So this one is Feeling Chunky Yarn B. These were a dollar twenty-four. Um, hold on. So it's kind of like a dark. It's a little bit rustier color than that's showing up. And these are. It says it's a bulky five and it's 100% cotton, so those are going to be pumpkins. And then I did get another color of that. It's the color ivory. So same thing, it's just ivory. Um, and then I like the bumpy texture for like pumpkins, like different textures to add interest. These next ones, I think I only got one of each color, but it also, they also have the bumpies. And they're also 100% cotton. These are cotton DK. Um, these are lightweight three, so the other ones were bulky five. So this is mustard and this is almond. So mustard and almond. So the feeling chunky and the DK are pretty similar but one's thinner with tighter bumpies I guess I don't know um, as I was pulling them out of the bag I was thinking they were the same thing but they're not um, then this one I wasn't sure about but we're gonna try it <laughs> it is called warm and cozy by yarn B so these were those were both a dollar twenty-four I believe I forgot to say, yeah. Both of those cottons were $1.24. Um, yeah, Warm and Cozy. It's mostly acrylic and some nylon and polyester. And this is the color Mustard. And it's a little fuzzier than I normally like to work with. And I wasn't sure about like the color running through it. Um, but I feel, feel like that could be a nice, fun hat. So I got two of those. So I wasn't sure how many yards I need to make. A hat. So there's 317 yards in there of a medium four. So I might be able to get two hats. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think that's it. I think the rest is my scrubbies. Scrubby yarns. So I got the aqua and green. I wasn't sure if I had a special name or if it was just green. And um, lemon. See, that's lemon, not just yellow. Um, so I think those are the colors that I didn't get last time when I was in Utah at my grandma's house. I'll have to go look. Um, yeah, so my husband's like, where the heck are you going to put all that? And I honestly don't know. Um, but we'll see what happens, I guess. Yeah, so I think that is everything for my acquisitions. I don't think you care to see the towels. Um, yeah, this is the dress that I wore in my friend's rehearsal dinner. I wore it to church today and I didn't feel like getting extra clothes, different clothes dirty, so I look fancier than normal. At least the dress looks fancier than normal. Um, yeah, so I will hopefully be making an actual video soon to show what I worked on while we were gone and just this last few days since we've been home. Um, I'm waiting for my mom to upload her pictures to a shared Google Drive 
so I can get her pictures and she can get my pictures from our trip. And I might post them at the end of the next video because obviously she's not ready for that right now. Um, I had something else to say and now I can't remember. Hmm. Oh, I was going to tell you guys. Um, my husband is working on some oil rigs this summer, so he's gone for two weeks, and then he's going to be home for two weeks, so this is his third night. He's working a night shift, so tonight's his third night, I believe, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah, there, so, um, yeah, so that's just part of life, just a quick little life update, I guess, um, so that'll make summer interesting, but, um, just a nice little extra side job for the summer. Um, so we'll see how the kids and I survive for the next two weeks and um, see how that goes. <laughs> if it want, Hopefully it doesn't have to continue forever. But um, yeah, so we're trying it out. <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's just a quick life update. Um, obviously kids survived with just my husband and my dad taking care of them. So yay for that. Um, our trip was fun. The wedding was beautiful. Um, yeah, I think that is everything. Um, thanks for watching and listening to my rambling. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed seeing some of what I got and why I got it. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.